Well, hello everyone. This is James from Mad River Homestead here in Southwest Ohio on a beautiful cloudless winter day. It's absolutely gorgeous. It was really cold last night. Got down to about 13 degrees, but today it's getting up to around 38. And that just happens to be a really, really good time to start tapping maple trees. My wife Margie has been doing all the research. I will give her the credit for that, but um, she, she's got all the tools, all the things we need. So we're gonna try this. We've never done it before, but we wanna try it. And we've got, as you can see behind me, we've got a lot of trees on our property and a lot of those are sugar maples. So uh, we're gonna kinda show you what we're doing. We're gonna do it a couple of different ways. So we'll show you both methods and uh, hopefully it'll be helpful for you if you ever wanna try this yourself. So stick around with us, thanks. Okay, I have to reveal the fact that we did already do one. We just wanted to make sure we were doing it correctly before we actually put it on film. And I will tell you, as soon as I drilled, it started dripping out. So we did it right, and now we're gonna show you what we did on this next one. By the way, this is the next tree that we'll be tapping, and it should be about 10 to 12 inches in diameter. This one's right at 12, so we should be fine on that. I will show you, I noticed as I was walking up to it that something and nature has already done some tapping, but they didn't go very deep. But you can see where that uh, sap is already going down the side of the tree and is collected at the bottom. So, but we'll, we'll have plenty for us too. All right, so you should drill somewhere around three to four feet from the ground. And uh, there's some guidelines on if you're drill, if you're tapping the same tree the next year, you should be um, so many inches away from the hole. I'm not, I can't remember what that guideline is, but I would say definitely research it. But when you drill, you want to go in about an inch and a half to two inches, and you want to go at an angle so that sap will will drip out. Go ahead and show that. I can't. Uh, get, get right up to it. Look at, you can see how that sap is already starting to come out of the, the tree here. Yes. All right, so we're using two different types. This is the one that we're using on this first method. And uh, it's, this part's gonna go into the tree. So you're just gonna get it in there and then this is the part you're gonna um, hit with the hammer. Obviously, you don't wanna hit the end of it because that could break it. But you just kinda tap it into place. Now you know why they call it tapping maple trees. A little bit more. All right. What I've done is I made, I just drilled a hole right here, had to, Cut a little notch right there, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide it onto this. Okay. And then, get right down in here. So you'll see there's two holes on either side of this. One of the ways that you can use this is there is a hook that you can hook in that and they have uh, buckets that you can dangle beneath it. I actually really um, think I like this method I'm Just better. putting that screw in there. So now the bucket's gonna hold very well. It's only been in there like just a minute or two and you can already see we're collecting sap in the bottom of this. So, now we'll put this lid on it. That's just to kind of keep things from dropping into it. It doesn't even have to be down tight. Um, some of the methods that I've seen, the lid hangs on something. It's actually, you know, got some space in it as well. But we're just gonna put some little pieces of wood on this to kind of hold these lids in place. <laughs> what are you doing, Rocky? You looking for sap for us? <laughs> Where are you with sap? 
Oh my lord. The original tree sap. <laughs> you coming down? Oh, you don't know how to come down, do you? You know how he doesn't have a big enough trunk to to crawl down. Come on, buddy. Come on, Rocky. <laughs> that was our uh, wild kingdom in earlier. All right, so this is the second method we're going to use. We're going to use a different tap. I think these are called spiles, but I'm not 100% sure. But that's what this one looks like. And we're going to put this hose on the end of it. And then the other end of the hose will run into the bucket where I have a hole drilled. Just a little different method, not hanging it in the tree. So this one, I'll be tapping right here, but that's a pretty stout lip right there, so it shouldn't hurt it at all. By the way, I probably don't need to say it, but you should use food grade buckets, hoses, and all of that. So now I'll just force this hose on the end of here. Okay. The other end and the hole in the top of the bucket. All right, so, hey, Rocky, get, shh, the now. That's, that's, see, that's my worry about the ones that are on the ground. All right, so we've gotten five of them tapped, two with this method, this one, and the one over there. And then we've got three where they're hanging on the side of the tree. One right over there over there and then this one so i'm going to go back to this first one that we did probably been about 25 30 minutes tops let's just see how it's doing wow it's amazing it's pretty steady drip all right well thank you so much for watching this video I am really looking forward to having some good uh, homemade maple syrup. And uh, I hope we did this right. It looks like we did it right because, as you can see, the, the uh, taps are already starting to drip and collect that sap. So I'm not sure how long we'll be doing this. Again, my understanding is you want really cold nights, um, even down into the 20s and then days that are warming up. A day like this is just absolutely perfect and we have some good weather in our near forecast. So thank you again for watching the video. If you feel like this was helpful, please share it. Like and subscribe if you haven't done that yet and that way you'll know when I do more videos. For instance, the one on how to make maple syrup. Anyway, thank you so much and God bless you and your family. Uh, like I said, we'll do another video when we make the syrup. And, um, yeah, I'm sorry, my, my Southern comes out every once in a while. I also never have been to a theater. I go to theater. I'm just doing that because I'm going to start over. <laughs>